point of these songs is to, in like three minutes is to uh, create sort of a big picture background of the economics, the geography, and the history of every state, which is incredibly difficult because all, the, all that information for every state is complex. You know, like the history of Georgia is insane. Like there's so much history of Georgia. And the question for me is like, how do I summarize that in one verse? So that's tough. Uh, anyway, so um, I just wanted to take you through how I create something like this. So what I what I end up doing, and what you guys do all the time, is you do some research, right? Like, so if I told you I'm gonna, I want you to write a song about Georgia, you'd be like, okay, I gotta go learn about Georgia because I'm not from here. Uh, I've spent very little time in Georgia, so I just started reading. You know, I go to I, honestly, I go to Wikipedia, which is a, a nice place. Uh, so I start there and just kind of get a basic overview, and then I'll go check the sources and look different places and go to university websites and watch some videos on YouTube and just get an understanding of what, what happened in Georgia. And there's a lot of history and a lot of information about Georgia, of course. But as I'm doing this, I kind of limit myself to one of these boards. Like, that is my space because the song is supposed to be very short and condensed. I can't, I, if I created all this information on like 10 different boards, it'd be too much. Then I'd be like, oh, overwhelmed. So specifically, I break the board up into three different sections. So I've got the history, and that's whatever I can fit in here, that's what I'm gonna focus on. I've got the geography, whatever I can fit, and then the economics in the bottom. And then I always create this little section over here for all the state symbols, because I try to cover that in all the songs too. Uh, you know, like the state bird and the state tree and, and whatever. So uh, I started playing violin when I was two years old. I was, well, well I was kind of taller than most two-year-olds, but uh, I started playing violin when I was two, and so when, when you start music, anybody started music when they were little? Start playing music, what did you play? Guitar. Guitar, nice, nice, you? Piano. Say it again? Piano. Piano, that's a good one, yeah? yeah. Trumpet. Trumpet. Piano. Piano, gotcha. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys, as you grow up, um, you'll, you'll probably experience some of this, but when you start playing music when you're little, uh, I started playing music when I started learning how to talk. So those two things are sort of very similar to me. That, that music to me is more of a language than it is a skill set. You know, I don't sit down and I'm like, oh, I think I'll just focus on playing guitar right now. It's like I sort of see the world in terms of music. And that has given me the ability to do a, a bunch of different things. Uh, one of them is to look at something like this, which is just a bunch of information on the board, a couple sent you know, some sentences, some arrows and dates and whatever. There's my terrible drawings of the state of Georgia. Uh, uh, but just some basic information. And my brain looks at this, and it sort of takes this information and turns it into poetry or lyrics so that I can look at, you know, look at that information and it kind of transfers it into something that makes sense in condensed fashion. So that's the first verse, and the second, oh, here's the chorus, and the second verse. Uh, so basically the first verse is about the basic history. The chorus is some sort of combination of history, economics, and geography. Second verse is about geography. The bridge is about the state symbols, and the third verse is about the economics. And then there's a little tag at the end about Martin Luther King, who's very important, and he was from here, so that's that's critical as well. But now, what what I do? So the next step is I have to look at this poetry, I have to look at these lyrics, and say, okay, how do I turn that into music? And that's another thing my brain sort of does. I just look at these lyrics, and I start hearing music, uh, along with the voices in my head, which is dangerous. No, nope, not funny. Okay, voices. <laughs> you could. Okay, it's fine. I'm embarrassed. Okay, I'm going to tone it down a little bit. No jokes. I got it. I don't know. I don't think so. He also hears voices. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Good. And he breaks out singing. He breaks out in song? He doesn't even know it. See? That's perfect. No, it's good. See, see we're right in line. So I got to take, take these lyrics, and what I do, I have a recording studio in my house. And so I record all my music from my house. And... For this particular song, um, what I would do is I would put on a metronome track, which is like a cl click track, so I need to click, click, click to keep me on beat because I'm going to be adding all these different layers of instrumentation, so I have to make sure that I'm with myself, if that makes sense. Uh, so the first one I put on this song, and this song is called uh, The Old South's End, and the first 
piece I put on was uh, um, this banjo track, a very simple banjo track. So you'll hear the click a little bit, but then you'll hear me playing the banjo. Here's what it looks like when I record the first track. Headphones on. pretty simple actually you don't really hear a whole song there but what I have to do is when I look at when I look at this uh, when I look at the lyrics and think of this music I have to break it apart into little pieces and then I have to put these pieces together so the second part I back that I back the track up and so now I can hear that part in my headphones along with that click so then I add I'm gonna add a different more a little more complex banjo part tracks. I've got the basic banjo and the second banjo part. Uh, now I go into my living room and I put on a drum part that goes along with those pieces. Again, I can hear those banjo parts and the click in my headphones, so I'm adding this drum part. So now I have the, you um, see I'm, you know, I'm building all this stuff. So now I have those drums in my headphones. I go back and I add a bass guitar part on top of that. Messed up. So now I've got the basic rhythm track down, and at the beginning of the song, and then uh, I think twice throughout the song, I did this little uh, glockenspiel, which is like a little bell track. So I put that on the beginning and through. Oh, sorry, this is the this is the uh, organ part. So I put on this uh, synthesized organ piece. Sort of Americana and Southern. It does. Yeah, it sounds like cowboy music. Let's hear. Uh, we'll, we'll wait until like we hear it all together. It might, might sound a little bit different. But um, so then the then I put on the vocal track, and well, I'll show you that in a second. But the last track I put on was this tambourine track that comes in during the the bridge and the last chorus. So here's what that looks like. <laughs> I 
aja. Yes. Just think of what I'm. I don't know about you, I, I could listen to this all day. No. Yeah. Okay, so again, now what I would do is I take that poetry, that, that those lyrics from before, and then I sing it to this track, and the final version of it, you mix everything together, all the pieces together that I played, and here's what that looks and sounds like. Of independence, and we won the most. For state in this new American nation, but to see from the Union to continue our growth. This empire of the South started with all the first big plan to give the English worthy poor each 50 acres of Georgia land. Come to Savannah, we're strong marks during the Civil War till we couldn't make a stand. Scorched earth marked the old South, and when they burned Atlanta. I cleared them all out here so I could do this stuff, but yes, I have all those instruments in my house. And also, how, how many, how long have you, um, how long does it take you like, to make a song like a, what? Awesome, awesome question. So for this particular project, just because this one is, is a little bit harder than anything I've done before, you know, like doing something like World War II or the Five Themes of Geography is actually a little bit easier. World War II is a bad example. But the Five Themes of Geography is, is a little bit easier because it's simple. Uh, but the the amount of ch the number of choices I have to make in order to condense the information of something like the history of Georgia down to a very small uh, chunk is is actually very difficult. So it takes me between thirty and forty hours 
to create any, any song. Actually, it's probably about 45 hours to create each one of these songs from doing the research to finishing the kinesthetic lecture. So about, about a week's worth of normal work to finish any one of them. But I do them in uh, big chunks. You know, I'll do the research in like 12 hours straight. I'll just like sit there and do all that and then move on to the next thing. So I do them in, in big that, pieces. Your eyes will just fit in the top. Yes, yes, it's, it's pretty intense. And, uh, but I can, I, can do about, I can do two of these in a week. I've done that before, but it's a, it's a lot of work and I don't leave the house for that week. Intense. Yeah. Uh, so this is this. Let's see. This room. This is the main room. My house is not that big. My house is like maybe 18, 1900 square feet. But that's it's a two story house. So upstairs are all the bedrooms and stuff. But this is this room is my main room, and it's about it's about seventy five percent as big as this. So this room's a little bit bigger in terms of wideness. Uh, so it's about, it's about, the main part is about this big, and then the studio, the other part, you saw me in playing banjo, that's probably a third of this room. So that's it, not, not a whole big space, but I have to like move stuff out of the way, you know, couches and things when I film. But the drums were, were, were set up in the middle of this room. Yes? Is it like, is it sometimes awkward when you're dancing alone by yourself? Fun, a fun way to ask that question, yes. It is always awkward when I'm alone dancing by myself. The, the only thing that makes it even more awkward is I'm alone dancing by myself to songs about education, which makes it, which makes it very awkward. But, you know, um, like, <laughs> yes. But yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable, you know, like, anytime you film yourself and watch it back, it's, you have what I call disequilibrium. You're just like, oh my uh, I filmed the video this morning. I went to Old Fort Jackson up at, up on the river up there and filmed the video standing out on a little pier they had and was like, hey, did you know that during the Civil War the Confederates actually held this fort and the only way to get to Savannah was going past this fort and that's why the Union never took Savannah until Sherman's march to the sea. And I washed it back. I'm like, what is, what's up with my hair? And why am I squinting? Like the whole time I'm squinting. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but this, take it to the extreme. Um, uh, actually, both uh, the Five Themes of Geography, People Move, and Hello War were filmed a long time ago, like a year ago. And between now and then, so I, I, I filmed a couple of those kinesthetic lectures, those two were examples, and I watched those back a couple times, and I'm like, man, I look really uncomfortable. Those are really goofy looking videos, and I realized that, and that's, that's fine. But about a year ago, at, someone after I, uh, Sometime after I filmed those, I took some dance lessons. I took some uh, swing dance and, and Charleston, Lindy Hop lessons. And I feel like that's given me a little bit more confidence to do these a little bit better. And also I feel like the kinesthetic lectures got a little bit better because I wasn't so like, okay, you do this and you do this. I was just like more, a little bit more relaxed. But yes, it is, it is insanely awkward to, to, to film these things. And uh, yeah. It, but it's even, it's even more awkward when you're when you're with somebody else. Like if I had somebody watching me, that's really awkward because I'm just like, don't look at me when I'm doing this, even though I'm putting this on YouTube. Yes. Um, like somebody else, or you make Yeah, I make I make all the lyrics of myself. Yep, I create all those myself based upon my the research that I do and then what I think is the most important and condensing that information down. Yeah. You should have seen the dance moves that we created with people. Oh yeah, I think I did see them, didn't I? Hey, your teacher sent me a video of those. Those were very good. They were much better than mine. This class taught uh, almost eight first well, first period one, the dance off competition that had between my classes. But this class did a really good job too. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, those are really good. Yeah, the whole point. So the, so one of the points of me doing these things, uh, these kinesthetic things, is that. Uh, my goal is to create some movements. First of all, I'm not a very good dancer, as you can tell. Also, I'm not the best person in terms of movement, but the point is to create very simple movements so that it gets you guys interested in doing it and then you create much better ones. Because you, you're better dancers than I am, and that's good. I just want to give you the idea and then be like, okay, 
I can do much better than that. And that's the whole point. That's sort of the lesson plan.